This morning, the fight continues for two Fort Worth parents trying to keep their daughter on life support at Cook Children's Medical Center. Peyton Summonson's parents say their daughter is brain dead, but her heart is still beating on its own. Our Aaron Jones is live at the hospital with what's expected to happen today. Jennifer and Russ, I spoke to hospital staff this morning. They say at noon they plan to do their next round of testing to try and see if Peyton has any brain activity. They say after that they'll decide what to do next. Meanwhile, Peyton's parents have retained an attorney. They say that he plans to file a temporary restraining order this morning to try and buy Peyton some more time. Now, it's been just over a week since Peyton went into cardiac arrest. A large tumor was found in her chest. The hospital was able to revive her heartbeat, but she had to be placed on a ventilator to regain breath. Last week, a test was done to determine if she had brain activity and she didn't. Another test was scheduled, and if she failed twice, there were plans to pull the plug, according to the parents. Now, the hospital did grant the parents time to find another facility to move her to. So far, they've been unsuccessful in finding a place for her to go. And come this afternoon, they say their time will be up. Your heart's still beating, there's still life in there. Once you get in this position, you got to keep doing everything that you have to to keep your child alive. And those parents hoping that that temporary restraining order is approved by the court today. The attorney is expected to have a press conference here at 1130. We'll have much more on this throughout the day. For now, reporting live in Fort Worth, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.